everyone. In the last classes, we have seen the digestive system of humans and grass-eating animals which had a proper digestive system. But do you know that there are millions of small organisms which do not either have a mouth or a digestive system? One such organism is amoeba. So in this class, we are going to study the nutrition in amoeba. Before starting the class, let us study the structure of amoeba. So amoeba is a unicellular microscopic organism. Unicellular means the body of amoeba is made up of only one cell. Unlike humans which are multicellular and are made up, made up of many cells. And it is microscopic organism. It means we cannot see an amoeba with our naked eyes. To see an amoeba we need a microscope. So amoeba is a unicellular micro, microscopic organism. If we see the structure of amoeba, it is surrounded by a plasma membrane inside which there is a jelly-like structure called cytoplasm. It also contains nucleus and cell organelles about which we will study later. It also has certain vacuoles. Now, we will see the nutrition in amoeba. So, to start the nutrition, it must intake the food. And it feeds on smaller organisms, smaller microscopic organisms like bacteria and dead organic matter. So what happens and which structure is used to obtain the food? Because as I told you, amoeba does not have a mouth. So what does it have to obtain its food? Actually, amoeba uses a very special structure called pseudopodia, meaning false feet. Because these structures look like false feet and the pseudopodia are used for movement as well as for capture of food. So what happens when food reaches near am amoeba? So when a food particle or a very small microscopic organism reaches near amoeba, what happens? It extends its cytoplasm in the form of pseudopodia. So pseudo pseudopodia are nothing but extensions of cytoplasm. So, when there is a food near an amoeba, what happens? It extends its finger like pseudopodia. And these two pseudopodia surround around the food. These two pseudopodia come closer and they pinches off from the outside and get inside the cell of amoeba in the form of a food vacuole. So, you can see here sensing of food by an amoeba. Formation of pseudopodia surrounding the food and formation of a food vacuole. This food vacuole is taken inside the body of an amoeba. So this process depicts the ingestion means intake of food. So food is taken inside the food vacuole. This process is called ingestion. You may recall what was the next step after ingestion. Of course it was digestion. So when the food has entered the body of amoeba, of course, it is not so simple that its body can absorb. This food needs to be broken down into simple soluble substances so that the body of amoeba can absorb it. So it needs to be broken down. This breaking down or digestion of food happens with the help of digestive enzymes secreted by the cytoplasm inside the, inside the food vacuole. So enzymes from the cytoplasm digesting the food. Now you can see there are certain enzymes which are entering this food vacuole and trying to digest this food. So this process comes under digestion. As a result of digestion, the food breaks into very small pieces. And these pieces are in such a form that it may be taken by the cytoplasm by a process called diffusion. So what happens when once the food has been converted into simple soluble substances? These simple soluble substances simply diffuse from the food vacuole inside the cytoplasm of amoeba. So this process is called absorption. So digested food is taken inside the cytoplasm by a process called absorption. Now when these substances have been absorbed by an amoeba, these substances are utilized for growth, for maintenance and for multiplication. And you may recall that process was known as assimilation. Assimilation means the utilization of the absorbed food for various purposes. 
So now it has followed another process called absorption and assimilation. Now as we all know all the food is never digested. There is a part of food which remains undigested and that undigested food comes out through rupturing of the plasma membrane at any point. It means the food that remains undigested comes out from the body of amoeba by rupturing of the plasma membrane from any point and this process is called ejection. So we may see that a typical amoeba or any amoeba follows all the steps of holozoic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition we may recall that in, in a holozoic nutrition food is taken inside the body and is digested inside the body. So we may recapitulate what we have learnt here. We have learnt that when the amoeba senses the food it extends out its pseudopodia. Pseudopodia forms a food vacuole inside which the food is trapped. Digestive enzymes act on the food inside the pseudopodia. After the food has been converted into soluble substance and it is absorbed inside the cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm it is utilized for various purposes like growth, maintenance and multiplication by a process called assimilation. The food which remains undigested comes out by the rupturing of the plasma membrane through any point by a process called ejection. So this is all about nutrition in amoeba. I hope you liked my class. Thank you for watching.